so lots of lots of people have asked us uh, questions and which we will be answering um, as we go along in this um, month um, so we will be um, answering as many questions as we can we did have uh, one question sent to us which was uh, they uh, wanted to know the main differences um, in shias and sunnis first what i'd like to take this opportunity to talk about the similarities in between shias and sunnis the similarities are we all believe in one god and after after we have one quran that we all believe in our quran is same as your quran i know people say a lot of things and they say you know shias have a quran that has 40 uh, paras or uh, you know somebody's go at half of the quran or you know these are the things that we've have all also heard so um just to clarify that uh, allah took the quran's protection in his own uh, self so he said that i will be the protector of the quran therefore any person any person if they made a change to the quran therefore we're then doubting allah's ability to protect the quran so if if anybody has made any change to the quran therefore they can't be considered as muslims but we're also doubting allah's ability to protect this message that came through the messenger so we have exactly the same things that you guys have we read uh, namaz um five times you know a day is farz on us but is farz on you um you know we may have different timings of things as we go along we will explain to you how everything works and why we do certain things in a different way to to you guys um but the main difference between shias and sunnis is after the death of the prophet peace be upon him he we uh, the shias believe that uh, imam ali should have been the righteous uh, leader um whereas the um sunnis believe that it should have been hazrat abu bakr now between the the between us and between you guys that is that is where the split is so we then went on to believing in imam of the 12 imams after who were the um members of the family of the prophet and you guys went on to believe in the khilafa either way our mo most common person between the shias and the sunnis is mola ali because mola ali was the fourth khalif and he was the first imam so because today we when we go to mosque we are commemorating the death of mola ali's son so that's one common factor between the shias and the sunnis and because that seems to be the common thing between us we that's why we coexist so well that either way whether you believe in in them as a imam or a khalif um you know the respect is obviously there and respect is given where it's due so um i hope that answers your question um i will try to answer as many questions as i can as we go along and hopefully um we'll be going to mosque um today and we'll show you um how we um you know do the commemoration and hopefully uh, if you've got any more questions please do leave them in in our uh, comments so any of the muharram videos that we upload you can leave the comments in any of them videos we will go through them and we will obviously try to answer as much as we can i know a lot of you guys have shown a lot of interest in um the you know the shia side and you guys are wanting to ask a lot of questions you do um you know uh, we we are really happy that we do want you to go ahead and ask the questions if you are curious you want to know it is you are well within your right to ask the questions and we are happy um uh, to uh, to answer them um as much as we can we're trying to create a peaceful uh, platform where 
people can um, sit and have a, um, you know a, a talk and they can uh, have you know they can uh, they can ask you in regards to your differences uh, but we're also we're trying to create a platform where you can see a family that coexists um, with having them differences as well um, which means that if we can do it then so can you um, so it, in in with that being said I do want to say that um, any hate um, on the comments will not be tolerated um, that is not something that we uh, will be tolerating you know I would um, um, advise that anybody who has got any questions please go ahead and um, you can ask us um, in either one of our platforms uh, where you'd like to um, reach out you can ask a question we'll be happy to answer them for you but please do remain respectful um, you know we are um, a family so if you say anything negative in regards to a shia it will hurt us but if you say something negative towards a sunni it will also hurt us as well because you know uh, we are a shia sunni family at the end of the day um so um please do remain respectful no asane is platform upro asane message dene hai ke aman aman nal sare mili juli ke koi sunni shia hone vaste zaruri nahi hai ke maam husain na gham manane vaste सुनने ही शिया हो वो सारे असा की ज्वाइन करो तो असा ने इस माम नी फूड़ी पर सारे गम मनाने है उन्होंने तो चलो जुलने असा हूं इमाम कोट तो फिर तुसा की उथो थोड़ा बहुत शेयर करने है कि किस तरह उथे सारा न्याज ना और सिस्टम किस तरह होना तो दसने है तुसा की शेयर करने है Have a crisp. Just take it with you inside. Thank you.
ਚਲੋ ਜੀ ਅਸਾਂ ਮਜਲਿਸ ਪਰ ਗਏ ਸਾਂ ਵਾਪਸ ਆਈ ਗਏ ਆ ਤਾਂ ਅਸਾਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਤੁਸਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਿ ਅਸਾਂ ਉੱਥੇ ਗਏ ਆ ਨਿਆਜ਼ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇਣੇ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਅੰਦਰ ਵੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਕੁਕਿੰਗ ਕਰੀ ਸਕਣੇ ਤਿਆਰ ਕਰੀ ਸਕਣੇ ਬਾਹਰੋਂ ਵੀ ਖਾਣਾ ਮੰਗਵਾਈ ਸਕਣੇ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੁਸਾਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਦਿਲ ਹੋਣਾ ਬੰਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਿ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਕੋਈ ਮਜਲਿਸ ਕਰਾਈ ਰਹੀ ਆ ਮਾੜਾ ਦਿਲੋ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਹੱਥਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਬਣਾ ਆਪੇ ਬਣਾ ਤਾਂ ਉੱਥੇ ਸਾਰੀ ਅਰੇਂਜਮੈਂਟ ਹੋਣੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਚਨ ਹੈ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਹੈ ਆਪੇ ਬਣਾਈ ਸਕਣੇ ਆ ਜੋ ਅਸਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਿ ਬੰਦੇ ਆਪੇ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਬਣਾਣੇ ਨੇ ਨਿਆਜ਼ ਤਾਂ ਚਲੋ ਫਿਰ ਮਿਲਨੇ ਆ ਸਾਈਂ ਕੱਲ ਕੁਸਾ ਨਵੀਂ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਚ ਤਦ ਤੱਕ